We're now back from Durham Hens and we have with us in there nine chicks. This is the reason why we have bought extra chicks today because we have a hen in the goat house here under this cage who has been sitting on eggs for three weeks. One of them hatched through the night so we're not sure whether her other two eggs have hatched or whether they um, will actually ever hatch uh, but we're going to move her with her chick and her two eggs to the chick house. This is the chick house that the other hen uses uh, for brooding in and sorry that doesn't include you. Uh, the, the other hen that's got chicks, uh, uh, she roosts in here through the night and uh, what we're going to do is put the other hen in here now. Uh, she's got two eggs there which haven't hatched but um, they, they're probably not going to hatch but just in case I'm wrong I've decided to include them there. So this is the chick that's hatched through the night and we'll put, put it in the nest box. So there it is now and we're going to add mother in as well. Right. So there's mum on her eggs and her one chick and she's about to be joined by the rest of her adoptive family. I think we'll just leave her to it for the time being. Well, it's now 6.30 p.m. and some of the chicks are uh, up and about in the chick house. And she must have three of the adopted ones underneath her. I can just see one at the back there. I'm not entirely sure whether she's actually accepted them all, uh, but she'll certainly have three of them underneath her at the moment. Uh, but these ones were in a bit of a huddle in the corner uh, a moment ago, so um, I think we just need to keep an eye on this uh, and see where, whether or not she actually adopts them. This afternoon I had to take Richard into Gateshead for an appointment, so as a result I didn't quite get picked enough food for a full feed for the goats uh, for their, their afternoon feed. So I'm back on the Winnies now and I'm going to uh, replenish their supplies, uh, but I'm going to take off a couple of branches from the overgrown hawthorn hedge here and I'm going to be using this to uh, bring them down. I hope. It's down. <laughs> uh, sadly it came down a bit quicker than I expected uh, so uh, I've run to get the camera and uh, by the time it hit the deck uh, I still haven't, didn't have the camera switched on. Anyway, goat dinner for tonight. Well this is the first batch. I've got a, about another four or five piles of branches over on the far side to bring over but I think I'll bring one more pile over and that'll be sufficient for, for today because I've already had uh, a real barrel full of uh, nettles and willow herb and that was just this afternoon this morning they had a, a barrel full of uh, goosegrass and willow herb seven of the nine chicks were sitting out in the chick house here all huddled together and I think that it's not a case of the hen not adopting them, I think it's a case of they haven't adopted her. 
so I've put them under her again and she seems to be quite happy to accept them uh, so we're just going to leave her for the time being hopefully overnight they'll all settle down and uh, they'll just quietly accept her as the new mother second and final batch for tonight all enjoying it as indeed they did with that first batch which I brought over just a few minutes ago it didn't take them long to demolish that so this is what's left plus the logs which will be used for firewood and these branches with leaves on will be fed to the goats tomorrow makes a pleasant change from the otherwise favourite foods of willow herb, nettles and goosegrass which they thrive on but they thrive on this stuff as well as you can see however there is still a lot of hawthorn to come down and that will be one of the jobs for the summer. Progress at last. All the chicks are still under the mother hen. So adoption complete I think. <laughs> <laughs>